Good afternoon, we're going to just run through this 4025 machine that's going to Kalambila mine in Zambia. And I'm going to start off with the very basics at the front of the unit and work my way to the back and explain everything as I go along. So first of all, we want to show you the hitch. This is a 2 and 5 16 ball and uh, it can be adjusted. You've got two pins to make sure it's locked on the, uh, on the ball. Okay, that's why it's safe to tow it. This here is a is a um, is a automatic. If you if it falls off, it can it'll pull the hydraulic brake system on. So this unit has hydraulic brakes. So we go from the the hitch to the next thing. We have a 65 horsepower Hatz air cooled diesel engine driving our 4,000 psi 25 gallon minute pump. Okay. Now it's important that uh, you check the oil daily. So the oil is up to the mark on the engine, okay, and you change the oil, you change the oil after 50 hours and then every 250 hours thereafter. Same with the pump. The pump, the oil should be up to the uh, red dot and the specifications for the oil are in the manual. Your, your oil filter on the engine is right there. There's uh, fuel filters, there's one fuel filter there and there's uh, air filters inside the engine cover. It's important when you run this engine to keep the covers on because it's air cooled it sucks the air in here and then blows it out the side so it's important to keep the covers on when you're running the engine you only take the covers off to inspect stuff now we come up to the pump when you're ready to operate fill your water tank with water you can open the bleed and let the, uh, the water come out, you know now that the, 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 the pump is prime, so you're ready to operate. But some of the first things to check every time you use the machine are the filter. Okay, in order to check the filter, shut the ball, shut the ball valve here so you don't drain the water out of the tank. You can take the filter off. Okay, now there's an O-ring, you want to make sure you hang on to the O-ring, and then you inspect the filter and if there's any crud, it'll be in here. Now, one of the things you've got to watch out for is uh, in hot climates, you can get algae in the system and it can clog the filter. So when you're using the machine, if your um, pressure starts to drop, the first thing to do is check the water filter to make sure the pump can suck enough water through it. So once you've cleaned the filter, you can put it back on. It's just. Uh, Get it on. And to snug it up, you don't have to over tighten it. And the most important thing now is to open the valve. Because if you don't open the valve, you're going to be sucking a vacuum. And the pump does not like that. So open the valve, let the water come out, and you're good to go. This is your drain to drain the water tank at the end of the day. Rupture disc. Okay, if you overpressurize the system, this rupture disc will blow. And you've got spare rupture discs in the toolbox. Okay, this is what the rupture disc looks like, and it's got a little nipple on the end. It's important that that goes down that way. Okay, so uh, always keep some spare rupture discs in the toolbox ready to be inserted. So we're going to work our way slowly to the back of the unit. Um, we've checked the uh, oil levels in the engine and the pump and we're now going to work our way back to the unit. The machine has 500 feet of 5 8 hose on it and a 10 foot leader hose. And uh, basically you can align the uh, hose by pushing on the reel. It's got a swivel position. You can line it up wherever you want to work. The important thing is don't rotate the reel in this position when it's under pressure because you've got swivel joints underneath here and they don't they're not designed to run under pressure so when you're when you're ready to position the reel do it with the pressure off get it lined up get the nozzle you want to use And 
and get ready to place it on the end of the hose. Now, this is your hydraulic reel control. This is for reeling in, reeling out, and in this position, the detented position, you can roll the hose by hand, okay? When it's in the locked position, it's not gonna go, all right? So if you wanna use it in a, in a, without the power on, you have to put it into the detented position. This is your water selector valve. Pressure on, pressure off, or return to tank. Throttle, ignition, and pressure gauge. Now this machine is designed to go up to 4,000 PSI. We also have it capable of running up to 5,000 when needed, but that's gonna be under special circumstances which we'll get into later. So when you're ready to use the machine, you've gotta select the nozzle you wanna use. Okay, so this is your choice of nozzles. You've got a chisel, you've got a three rear, one forward, you've got a six rear, you've got a rotating nozzle, for cutting roots and grease and heavy scale. You've got a micro kit, which will do down to a one inch sink line. You've got a mini jet kit, which will do a two inch or three inch line or above. You've got a sand and sludge nozzle to go into uh, six inch pipes or bigger to get sand and sludge out. Here we have our Dragon Jet with the winged extension. This is designed to do big culverts or big pipes 24 inches or above. Okay, you can take the winged extension off and it'll go into a smaller pipe, but basically you use the winged extensions when you're in a big pipe to stop it turning over. It has a swivel joint here, and it's got two straight jets and two fan jets to blow the material out. Now it's very important when you're using the machine, if you're doing an open culvert, it's going to blow sand, rocks, gravel out a long distance. So it's important to wear a face mask and safety glasses anytime you're using it in an open culvert. Okay? Uh, if you're in a regular pipe where the water is contained, you should be okay. But always bear in mind the safety situation. Um, the vac pump is an ideal unit for pumping out uh, liquids. It'll, it'll handle anything up to this size. There's no moving parts and it's a fantastic tool. The gun is right here. Again, you, you put it onto the end of the hose. You've got a fan jet in there at the minute. There's a straight jet here. You simply depress the trigger, take the safety off, depress the trigger, and you're ready to do pressure washing. So you've got a number of tools with this machine to make it extremely versatile. Now, depending on what size pipe you're working in, it's very important to have a drain jet extension, which is one of these guys. This stops the nozzle coming back out of the operator. So if you're working in a six inch pipe, put this extension on. If you're working in a bigger pipe, you always want to have an extension. The length of the extension should be the same as the diameter of the pipe. So this is designed to go in a 24 inch pipe. You can use it in a smaller pipe, but the idea is you always want an extension on the end of the hose so that the nozzle cannot turn around and come back out of you. As a word of caution, the, the speed of the water coming out of the nozzle is approaching 470 miles an hour. So you do not want that water anywhere near any part of your body because it's gonna penetrate it. So it's very important to keep safety in mind. Right, let's go to the other end again. So I'm gonna put the uh, six back on the extension and I would normally do this with a set of wrenches to make sure it doesn't come undone, but as this is just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put it on hand tight. This would go on the end of the hose, and then we would use a tiger tail to protect the hose where it goes into the pipe. The tiger tail is basically a sleeve that will go into the invert of the pipe so that the hose doesn't get cut on the sharp edge. Uh, you're getting one with your machine anyway, we just don't have it on the unit this minute. Um, so your hose goes through the hose guide. Right. And it's important to make sure you put the nozzle into the pipe a few feet. Okay, so if the pipe was right here, you'd extend it. Okay. Now you're ready to start. Make sure this lever is in the down position, that's return to tank. Put your safety glasses on. And crank the 
machine. When you're ready to operate, you lift this lever up and wind, wind up the front. Now, I'm going to take the nozzle off a minute just to show you for demonstration purposes. Raise the lever. Okay. Now I'm going to rip it up. Keep an eye on my Now we have another feature on the unit which if you've got to go long distances and round multiple turns we have a pulsation system. Now in order to run the pulsation we want to idle the engine down, come to the front of the unit and open the pulsation valve. This will co cause the hose to jackhammer and it'll go long distances. You just got to keep it going at 1500 psi that's all you need. You'll see when I start it now. You can see the hose jumping. Okay, that's the pulsation valve. You've got to run it at a maximum of 1500 psi. When you're finished with it, simply turn it off. your beacon light switch and you've got a position here to plug in an external light which is in the toolbox. When you've finished just wrap everything up 